What is up friends? Welcome back for another movie reaction. Today's is Beetlejuice, which is another Michael Keaton movie who was featured obviously recently in Jackie Brown, but this time he is the star. So excited to see him act in this. And I don't really know a whole lot about this one, except for I believe two lines from the movie. I think one of them is that they say the name of the movie Beetlejuice three times. And then I think Michael Keaton's character says it's showtime. I don't know if this is the right movie, but I think that's a quote that comes from it. Either way, those are the only two things I think I've seen from it. And they're such short little snippets that pretty much the entire movie I'm going in blind to. So I'm excited about that. There's definitely been a lot of you guys who have mentioned it. And so I'm excited to finally get around to it. I don't exactly know even what genre it is. Obviously, it's kind of like a Halloween type movie or one that you would watch during this season from what I understand. But I don't know if it's like a comedy or if it takes itself more seriously or what it is i would guess the former just by looking at michael keaton's outfit from the cover but you never know and so hopefully you guys enjoy watching along with me for this one if you'd like to check out my entire reaction to the movie watch along with me you can find that on my patreon the link for that is in the description below and of course you'll need your own copy of the movie to watch along with me but you can also get all my other full-length reactions to movies and shows there as well and if by the end of this video you enjoyed it definitely consider leaving a thumbs up always helps the video out and helps the channel out so i appreciate all your guys support and so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into beetlejuice oh it's tim burton that's right i haven't really seen a bunch of tim burton stuff but i know he's known for having very interesting imagery alec baldwin is in this too what and gina davis i recognize her name too and winona ryder there's way more names I recognize than I expected. And we haven't even seen Michael Keaton's name pop up yet, right? I thought he would have been listed first. Oh, uh, there he is. So his character's name is actually Beetlejuice then. Interesting. Mm, that's a big fella. Whoa. Oh man, it took me a second there. That's Alec Baldwin. He looks so much younger and thinner than he does now. When did this movie come out then? Must be quite old, older than I thought. This house is too big for you. It really ought to be for a couple with a family, you know? Oh, Pumpkin, I didn't mean anything. It's just that- Like that moment right there, there's definitely something that's gone on between them. Either they lost a child or maybe they haven't been able to have one. Barbara, come with me down to the store. Well, you just run in, okay? That's such an interesting looking house right there. I like that it's just kind of alone on a hill. I don't know why, but it almost reminds me of the house in Psycho. Just kind of looming. He says we should sell the house to someone with a family. I don't think that it's any of Jane's business. Besides, we could try again on this vacation, you know? Oh, yep. So that answers that. They have been trying. I like that those little story pieces have felt pretty natural with the dialogue. Didn't feel forced. Hey, look out for that! <laughs> Oh gosh, I thought they were actually gonna like go all the way off the bridge. That dog is causing some trouble. <laughs> He's just balanced right there. I love it. Oh gosh, he was the only reason they didn't fall in. Maybe that dog is not a good boy. I don't know. That'd be the first one ever. Hopefully since they just fall fell in a shallow river, they aren't gonna be seriously hurt or anything. Well, that was certainly quite the freaking change of scenery. Are these guys living in a dream right now? Look. And there's that. Wait a second, did they actually die and now they are living in like the afterlife or something? The recently deceased. Deceased. <laughs> he mispronounces it. That's quite the spin. I don't know if I've seen it done like that before. This book reads like stereo instructions. Listen to this. Geographical and temporal perimeters. Functional perimeters vary from manifestation to manifestation. This is a cool setup. I like following these guys straight into the afterlife and they basically have to figure out how to live in the new situation. Damn sandworms. They're team person. I better find a job. Let's see. Business section. Ooh la la. What do we got? here 
<laughs> Dude says business section and opens to the obituary. What? Is this Michael Keaton that we're seeing right here? I'm not sure I'm going to be excited to find out what his business is that he does. Why is it just you and me? Maybe this is heaven. It's Jane. Oh no, must be hell then if Jane's here. What's she doing here? Jane! I was wondering that if they would be able to interact with the real world. Looks like they can see people, but they just can't get their attention. This book is so stupid. I can't understand anything in this. Barb, honey, we're dead. I don't think we have very much to worry about anymore. <laughs> That's a fair point. It's not like time or anything else is an issue for you anymore. They sold it. Shoot. Are living people going to move in and then they're going to like terrorize them? Whoa, dude, it's the mom from Home Alone. I'm sure I saw her name in the opening credits, but I just didn't put the name to the face. <laughs> Is that Winona Ryder right there? She still got that goth aesthetic. I guess it wasn't just a phase for her. Is this a punishment or something? We're not completely helpless, Barbara. There's a word for people in our situation. Ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just decide that he wants to start haunting some people now? Maybe being dead isn't all that bad. We just have to pray the other closets are bigger than this one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was great. I love that. Great layered joke right there. Gave me a little bit of a spook, so it wasn't a complete fail. Yeah. Deliver me from L.L. Bean. <laughs> Deliver me from L.L. Bean? What the heck? They're trying so hard to scare him, just not working. I wonder if the two of them can, like, interact with physical objects, though, and then they'll notice that. Oh, I forgot to lock the attic door. <laughs> oh, man's pretty good at running around for just a headless dude. Did you feel something? When? They can interact with objects. Let's go. They found a method. There's something very interesting behind this door. Yeah, ghosts of the people who died in this house. They want us out of here. <laughs> you are surprisingly accurate right there. I like the wordplay in this so far. It's clever. Definitely does not seem to be a movie that's taken itself too seriously, which is good for this kind of style. What the heck is that thing, man? It looks so dang weird. That imagery is definitely more in line with what I'm used to seeing from frames from a Tim Burton film. We'll build you a dark room in the basement. My whole life is a dark room. One big dark room <laughs> oh my gosh this is great she's quite the character although i think we could all relate a little bit we're gonna have to decide what goes and what stays everything goes along with whatever's in the attic I don't think our ghost friends are going to be too happy about this. I really like this plot, though. This is super entertaining already. Like, what would you do if you died and saw people destroying your property? You'd probably want to defend it, too. Why are there only three sculptures? There were four sculptures here. Where's the fourth? Where's the fourth sculpture? I honestly feel like she's playing almost the same character as she did in Home Alone. She's definitely got that same kind of hyper personality. Having difficulty adjusting. Call Beetle Guys. <laughs> Beetle Guys. Maybe that's what it actually is called, though. Maybe Beetlejuice is a separate name. Just his name and the company's different. Wait, what the heck? She's able to see him? That's pretty wild. Is it just because she's so obsessed with the death herself? Or just dark things? Have a trouble with a lily? Well, come on down and see me, folks, because I'm the after I'm leading vile exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> what? This man's so eccentric. Dude is right up there with Saul Goodman at creating great commercials. Yo, I got demons running all through me, Jack. Now, you get a free demon possession with every exorcism. Ah, you can't beat that, can you? <laughs> oh, I love it. Michael Keaton's going to town right now. Dude offers a pretty good deal, though. Hard to turn down a free demon. In case of emergency, draw a door. Knock three times. 
Oh, dang, it actually worked. That's crazy. Is he about to come out? Is that who they summoned? Or did they just open a portal to somewhere else? <gasps> what the heck, dude? Now we're getting into some creepy stuff. Is this what they're gonna look like in a few years after being dead? Because there are some strange looking creatures here. You'll have to wait if you don't have an appointment. An appointment with who? For Juno, your caseworker. <laughs> this is cool, man. They still got all the same or similar procedures after you die. At least they're organized. You want a cigarette? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, jeez, man. I myself. How the heck does Tim Burton think up these strange designs? Maitland, party of two. <laughs> this thing is so strange, man. I mean, I have seen like screenshots and stuff from other Tim Burton movies, but definitely never really experienced firsthand his wild character designs and everything like this. What the heck? There's a guy just hanging there. It took me a second to notice him. I do really like all the sets so far, though. Definitely very, very unique design, which is always appreciated. And the way all the coloration is so extreme and everything is just so abnormal. It really makes you feel like you're just in a whole nother world or in the afterlife. Are you available? No. What's wrong? We're very unhappy. What did you expect? You're dead. <laughs> Great line right there. There's definitely a lot of more dry humor, I think, in this, which I like. What about that guy in the flyer, you know? He does not work well with others. The only way he can be brought back is by calling his name three times. Oh, interesting. So that's where the Beetlejuice three times thing comes into play. I don't know, though. I feel like Michael Keaton's always been a guy to trust. I wonder if he really is as bad as she says or if he's just misunderstood. Hey, come here. I got something good for you. <laughs> Man, this is so freaking strange. Never seen imagery like that before. So far, though, the fact that he's just going so all out with it, I think it works. If there was any, like, uncertainty or tonal inconsistency, then it would come off as real cheesy or bad. Uh... Olivia, is Connecticut so boring? I had Maxie Dean in the phone, honey. Would you scram? I don't think that's who you thought it was. That's genius, though. <laughs> incorporating that because they can only interact with physical objects so now they can actually see them i feel so stupid it's not stupid barbara we're ghosts moan louder <laughs> such great interactions they're trying their hardest man being a ghost isn't as easy as it looks sexual perversion you guys are gonna do that weird sexual stuff do it in your own bedroom are they gonna show up in the actual pictures though no feet <laughs> nice touch right there. She just discovered a major secret. How is it that you see us and nobody else can? Live people ignore the strange and unusual. I myself am strange and unusual. <laughs> nice, that makes a lot of sense. Definitely kind of along the lines that I was thinking earlier. I like that she's so casual about everything too. She's sleeping with Prince Valium tonight. Prince Valium. You did this? You carved all these little houses and things? I wonder if this girl's gonna change their mind about haunting the family. Well, if you are a real ghost, you guys better get another routine because those sheets, they don't work. <laughs> Just roasted them right there. Winona Ryder is doing a pretty good job, though. She was clearly a good actress even when she was younger. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Uh-oh. Go ahead, Barbara, say it. Beetlejuice! Oh shoot, man, what did they just do? I think they awoken something bad. I know I said he might not be bad before, but now I'm starting to get worried. Y'all are in trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, does look pretty creepy. I'm really gonna have to get to know you guys. You know, we gotta get closer. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he is crazy. I love this. I've never seen Michael Keaton act so, like, manically before. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it! You think I'm qualified? 
<laughs> his acting as great man completely changed the film for the better so far. I love his makeup and effects too. It's great. We're some potico here. Look at us. Huh? We even shop at the same store. Hey, hermano. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this guy is crazy. He does seem to be bad news in this first interaction. <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happens? Let's go! <laughs> Don't you hate it? As if it happens all the time to everybody else. He's so freaking entertaining, man. Hope you like Italian. Where'd you go? You gotta work with me here. I'm just trying to cut a D. What do you want me to do? You're working with a professional here! I wonder if they had like a word for word script for him for those moments or if Tim Burton just told Michael Keaton to just say whatever the heck came to his mind and be as wise as possible. Now, Lydia, favor us about your ghosts. No. Lighten up. What the heck is going on with her right now? Oh, is this Beetlejuice's doing? Did he just assess her right in front of everybody? Drink our rum. <laughs> what is happening, man? I <laughs> don't have any words for this, man. Where does Tim Burton have to go mentally to think up these scenes? Oh gosh, that took a freaking dark turn right there. At least they picked a good song for that moment. I want you to come downstairs. Delia says you can wear any sheets you want. It was like being in an amusement park. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, they actually liked it. It completely backfired on him. Why didn't you tell us about this before? Well, we're not even sure we want our little secret out. I mean, everyone's going to want them for their parties. People will pay big money for this, right, Grace? Oh, they're trying to capitalize on that thing for their own gain. These people are just the worst so far. I think this may push them to actually want Beetlejuice to intervene. Dad, don't. Oh, so everybody can see that book then, I guess. I feel like that's not a good thing the more people that keep reading this. What the heck, bro? That is a horrifying image right there. I was thinking something looked like a snake skin there for a second. We come for your daughter, Chuck. <laughs> oh gosh, bro. He probably broke his back right there. The way that Tim Burton blends live action and CGI and claymation or whatever else that is, is so peculiar. It's so unnatural looking. Definitely creates a certain feeling. I don't want to do business with you deadbeats anyway. The only one I think I can deal with is Edgar Allan Poe's daughter. Edgar Allan Poe's daughter? I mean, that's not the worst description for... I wonder where a guy, an everyday Joe like myself, could find a little action. <laughs> what is going on in this movie right now, man? He's just throwing you into the middle of a fever dream. I feel like a majority of the movie is definitely working for me, but there's definitely some moments that are just so weird that I'm just not used to getting on board to something like that. I don't even know what to think about any of this, man. It's so freaking odd. You look great. Clean house. And don't forget the photographs and the damned handbook. Please tell me they don't look like that for the rest of the movie. I like their normal faces much better. I don't know if there's like any Tim Burton movie that is like a good starting point to get used to his style, but I feel like I've just been thrown into the fire with this one. You had to play charades. Yeah. Two words. First word, two syllables. Turn around and look behind you. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, jeez, the talking beetle. I like this interaction right here of him trying to get her to say it without spelling it out clearly. Beetle juice? Yes, that's it! Name's Beetlejuice. I feel like it's gonna be awful if she says it a third time. This guy seems like he would just cause destruction if he was brought back. We've decided that we're going to invite you and your family to stay. 
That's right, Lydia. Oh, jeez, man, looks like an absolute clown. You could have a lot of fun, though, if you knew you could rearrange your face like that. It's so big, how are we gonna get it out? All right, sectional, get it both in. Wait, 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 but Careful! Okay, go! Uh. That's the last straw right there, them removing their life's work. It's been interesting so far, though, with Michael Keaton playing a much smaller role than I expected, because with him being on the cover of the disc and everything, and being the only cast member I knew from this, I was expecting him to be pretty much the main character. Nightshade's promise, spirits strive. To the living, let now the dead come alive. I uh, like those lighting effects right there. That was way cool. Dude definitely memorized that thing pretty quick. What does that do though? Oh, jeez, bro. What is going on? Did they actually, like, resurrect her or something? Just fully bring her back into the real world? If that's the case, I don't know how much longer they're gonna last in here for them to profit off them. Yikes, dude, she went downhill freaking fast in just a matter of seconds. I mean, to the credit of the production, the hair and makeup of stuff and whatever prosthetics or anything they use are really good looking. A decent amount of it looks practically done, which I appreciate. Oh, you help them, please. Sure, I can help them. You gotta help me. What? Ah, uh, now he's in the outfit that I recognize him in from the cover. I'm all for more of his character in this. He's definitely been my favorite part so far. Beetlejuice. 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 It's showtime. <laughs> There's the line I recognized from him right there. Definitely a cool moment though with context now. I'm a little bit worried though what he's gonna be like in full form out here. Well, I'm back. I feel real good about myself, you know what I mean? Come on a little closer. Step right up. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude is definitely a showman. He knows how to put on a good show for everybody, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude just massacred him. That's one way to get rid of him. That is why I won't do two shows a night anymore, babe. I won't. I won't do. <laughs> his line delivery is so good. I'm a huge fan of his acting. He is fully committed to this part. Shall we? <laughs> oh dang, I like her costume now. Bit as startling as pretty much all the characters and imagery has been, I definitely respect the talent behind the design and costuming and all that. Fatal juice. One more time, come on, that's all you need. These people need to speak a little bit faster. She could have gotten rid of him easy if she just whipped him off one by one. Oh no, not this place again. Oh my gosh, man. There is absolutely nothing going on that I could ever predict or imagine in a million years. I guess it's poetic. The one thing that he kept wanting to get rid of, those worms things, is the thing that actually was the death of him. I guess we're just back to normal life then. So wait, does this mean that they, the couple is actually back in the real world now for good? Come on. I suppose. Oh, what the heck, man. So I guess they are still dead then if they're controlling things like this. Work, 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 Sonora. Work it all the time. Jump in the line. Well, it definitely seems like he's having a lot of fun with this movie, so can't fault him for that. Did you do that? It's very nice work. Hey, there goes Elvis! Looks like I'm next. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop it! Hey, you're messing on here! <laughs> uh, nice. That guy clearly is the reason the other thing has a small head. 
<laughs> Man, that movie was one of the strangest things I've watched. Definitely has plenty of character though. It has a specific style and it's stuck with it for the entire runtime. I think the best things about the movie that I mentioned a little bit already before is like set design, costuming, and just the overall aesthetic and look of the film was so unique. Definitely creates this world that you can't really find anywhere else and so I appreciate that and Tim Burton certainly seems like he is somewhat of an acquired taste at least for me having not really been super familiar with his movies before I don't know if this is his most like extreme or out there type film or if there's others in his filmography that are a little bit more accessible to someone who's never watched his stuff before but it definitely took me a little bit to get used to it as I was watching along but by the end I was definitely enjoying myself with it and it was a very creative story I don't know if I've ever really seen that before where we follow the perspective of the ghosts in a haunting obviously this isn't like a scary movie or anything like that so it's not like any of the other haunting type movies that i've either been watching lately or that i've watched in the past but still a fun concept and i thought it was executed pretty well i think one thing about this that i haven't really noticed per se in some of the things i've been watching recently is at some parts i did kind of feel the runtime hitting me a little bit and the movie's not that long by any means but there were a few parts that I feel like the pacing wasn't the best but I think part of that may have come from just the introduction of Michael Keaton's character and then when it switched off of him because he was so high energy the low energy points felt a little bit more slow just in comparison but other than that don't really have that many complaints or anything like that so after looking it up now I did not realize this movie came out in the 80s I thought it was a lot more recent and so there's definitely a lot of things that would have been quite impressive for that and looking up the rest of Tim Burton's filmography I was pretty shocked to see that I believe this is the second movie that he directed I think I saw one other before that and for someone that new to come in and present something so different so unique from what you usually see I think that definitely would have left an impact if you had saw it back then and even now it's still a shock from the normal cinema especially that I'm used to seeing and so a lot of respect for him for taking such a risk and telling such an out their story with such jarring imagery and looking at the rest of his filmography as well I realized that besides this I have only ever seen one other Tim Burton movie and that was the Dumbo movie from last year which I didn't particularly like and I don't think was well received in general and so this definitely was kind of like how I was describing how it felt like I was thrown into the fire because Dumbo in comparison feels extremely normal this definitely feels more towards his kind of weird style that I've heard about before so I think when I eventually get around to watching more of his films I might warm up to the style a lot more and appreciate it I did really love Michael Keaton in this especially I thought his performance was easily the highlight of the film for me every time he was on screen I was having a great time watching him act and just be completely out of control by far the the most energized I've ever seen him in a role but it definitely worked for me and I assume really worked for everybody else since they really choose him as the marketing tool for the movie and I think one of the tough parts about having one particular cast member do such a great job in your movie is if there's anything else that doesn't work super well for the viewer it's kind of accentuated because it's so contrasting to what they do enjoy but I certainly can understand why this one is so iconic it's definitely got a lot of great quotes and moments in it a lot of memorable things things that I won't soon forget and so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching along with me and seeing my shock and awe for a majority of the runtime and if you did have a good time definitely consider leaving a thumbs up always helps the video reach a lot more people and helps the channel out so I appreciate your guys support as always you can check out my full-length reactions on my patreon link for that being in the description below but until the next video I will see you all later. Peace.